All right, everyone, welcome to Siesta Mall. How's everyone doing tonight? Thank you, SpongeBob. That is a long name. Ultimate Josh SpongeBob for the win. The Oogie Loves. I forget what FTL stands for, but that is a long ass name, but I'm glad you love my videos. Anyways, welcome to Siesta Mall. Uh, where we left off last week, we had a couple of store spaces yet that we had not filled in. And also, I think we had said we were going to uh, try and add an atrium to the mall this episode. So that uh, we could actually do some of the stuff like Santa Claus and haunted houses. Let's actually get this thing moving here. I just realized we're, nobody's moving. That is a big name. Yes, it is. Hey, Pinball541, how's it going? And then Retail Ruins asks, just curious, what's your actual job besides the channel? I, I work in software development. Ugh, customer complained that Orange Julius charges too much. So, uh, yeah, this episode, we want to add an atrium so that we can start having, like I said, Santa Claus, haunted houses, stuff like that, the different themed things. Where's this old lady going here? She's going to, oh, go figure, the old lady's going to Montgomery Ward. Where is the Montgomery Ward? How long of a walk does she have? Pretty long walk. Alright, so... The atrium, I think, is pretty expensive, and we need to think about this for a second, about where we want to put it. Let me... Actually, before we do that, let's catch up on what stores we have so far. We can go over that real quick in case people are new. Could you notify us through a YouTube post when you come to Tucson? Uh, yeah, I can do that. I, I can definitely do that. So we have a Montgomery Ward, a Walden Books, a Spencer's Gifts. The ones where it says store number and then a number, that's an empty store that we haven't filled yet. Uh, we have a Dairy Queen, a Littman Jewelers, that was one we asked, we added last episode, I believe. Uh, MCI Worldcom, which is our cell phone store. We've got a Suncoast Movie Company, we've got uh, the Bonton, Pocket Change. Orange Julius, gotta have Orange Julius. We got a Chick fil A in the food court. I'm still not sure if that's spelled right. I gotta double check that. And then we've got a Sparrow, an A and W, and we had to spell it silly because the, the ampersand isn't doesn't work. Brookstone, that's a good one. If you haven't seen my video on Brookstone, that's a good one to check out. We've got a GNC, a KB Toys, an Auntie Anne's Pretzels, a Payless Shoe Source, and a Sears. So let's um let's go see. We need, I think it's under special, yeah, it's under special structures. And there's a few different atrium types. Hmm. I don't know what we want, though. We got kind of like a white and purple motif going on. That's kind of cool. That adds, like, benches. That's kind of what it looks like around it. You'll, you'll see if you're not familiar with this once we build it. Chick-fil-A is spelled correctly. Thank you. Thank you, Pat753. I appreciate that. I don't know if I like that one, though. I don't know if that matches. Ooh, I like that. Oh, we got movie theaters. Not this episode. What does Atrium A look like again? Yeah. I think this is the one we went with at Rotting Acres Mall. Yeah, I think it's going to be this one. So now the trick is, I think we want to build it so that this hallway kind of feeds right into it. I don't remember... You currently have no promo... Oh, okay, so it's going to complain about promotions. Do you wish to go to the promotions screen now and set some up? Not quite yet. I Oh, I said yes. Dang it. We'll come back to that. Okay. So now we just need to build some like flooring around it and actually open the mall up to it. Let's see here, just good, what, catching up with the chat here, guys. Just a minute. Rotting Acres is dead. Let it go. Huh. We we I, we are gonna revisit Rotting Acres Mall. Oh, that fountain is pretty neat that it has. Um, I, I do want to try and revisit it at some point if you know maybe uh, I can figure out a way to fix the save game. Okay, we need the purple. Oh, oh, there it is, purple carpet. So we'll just put that in there. This is kind of weird because we're gonna stick the atrium in now, but I don't know. Um, 
how much more past that we're going to expand the mall this episode. I just want to put enough flooring and, and stuff and, and wall around it that it's considered complete. Honestly, what we'll probably do is, let's see here, yeah, we'll probably stick another anchor or something off the atrium and then maybe we can stick a movie theater. We'll see. We have lots of room to expand. I'm trying to be, just to give you guys an idea of the whole size of the mall, I'm trying to be better about space management and have less wasted space. Just trying to catch up here again. So yeah, let's go ahead and open. Uh, I think I screwed up. I don't think I, I think I wasted money building some of the floors because I think we're gonna lose some of them when we. Yep, dang it. Oops. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have built the floors. Okay. All right, everybody, do the happy wall building dance. Hopefully I don't screw this up and, and build a bunch of extra walls that we don't need and stuff I gotta go back and correct. Where is the ones we're using? <clears throat> there they are. I'm gonna try and be careful. Dang it, I, the first one I screwed up. Oh! You have to do it right on the line. That was awful. How are we doing on money? Oh, the atrium didn't cost as much money as I thought it would. That's good. This may be a waste, too, because we may knock some of these walls down. Uh, I'm on the... You have to click right on the line. And it's really sensitive. There we go. Okay, now let's go back and fix. Let's see, that. Okay. Okay, I'm clicking there on the line. Okay. I just gotta fix the floor. Cool. Okay. Now our mall has an atrium with a cool fountain. We have, like I said, we have a few empty, empty shops we gotta fill in this episode. I also think I want to stick. Now that I did this, I kind of want to rethink it. I feel like we need. Okay, we have a bathroom here. Where's that bathroom? There. Why don't we stick that? I feel like we need another bathroom, but I guess I'm not going to worry about it until customers complain. Cool, so let's go to the promotion screen, which is this guy. And we can start picking out some stuff to do. Wait, what month is it? Okay, it's... It's August, so... It's almost the end of August, so really it'll be September. I guess we'll do a fall thing in September. And, whoops. I definitely want to do Santa then. What do we have left? Huh, that's it. That's all the promotions we can do. We gotta research some. Okay, so when the month changes, we should see something pop up there. There we go, the Fall Festival. Montgomery Ward's had the most shoppers this month with 11. And they were the most profitable. Yeah, this game starts you off in some weird alternate reality in 1952. Ooh, and the mayor calls them all an aesthetic asset. But we are losing customers, I feel like. So let's let's think about this. We've got a couple store slots to fill in. We've got a single slot store right here. And then we've got two 
two double slot stores, so. We have a Walden books, I know we have that. What kind of, what stores are we missing? Let's look at the, uh, we can look at the store types. That might give us some ideas. Peril. Oh, you know what we don't have is like a Victoria's Secret, right? Hold on. I don't remember now. But I don't think we have a lingerie store. No, we don't. Okay, yeah, we need a lingerie store. So, yeah, we do need a Radio Shack, too. I don't know if, to, if there's a good option for tobacconist. Oh, you know what else we need to be doing, too? Hold on, before we get into that, let's start. What do we got here for researching? Imported candies. So we, we can research some product types. Or... Automatic doors, automatic bathrooms, that kind of stuff security cameras or the different promotions that we can run there is a lot okay let's let's do this though um, let's get some product types out of the way because I feel like there's some we're missing like we don't have a glasses store so let's research that anyways we do have a Spencer's yes who was, who was asking that that was Marissa Michaels we do have a Spencer's so as far as lingerie stores go, oh good, our customer account's going back up too. Um, do we want to add a Victoria's Secret? And is it Victoria's? Is it Victoria's Secret? Is that how it's spelled? And uh, or do we want to add like a Fredericks of Hollywood? Because those used to be in malls. I don't know if they exist in malls anymore. I did work um, at not at a Fredericks of Hollywood store, but I worked for that company many years ago. We do need Eclairs as well. Payless Shoe Source was the most profitable store. Wow. That's impressive. Seeing a lot of a couple Fredericks. What is Fredericks? Fredericks of Hollywood is another lingerie company, and they were Victor I forget if they started in the 50s or 60s, but I want to say it was the late 50s. And uh they uh, they were like Victoria's Secret back in the 50s and 60s. They used to be pretty classy, uh, pretty classy lingerie place. Uh, Elizabeth Taylor, I think, wore was a spokesperson for them for a while. But um, they kind of got more known for like their their lingerie kind of went kind of trashy, and uh, they started. Oh, look at that, guys! Our thousandth customer visited the mall. That is freaking awesome. I forgot that it did that. Um, I forgot that it made a little announcement. That's pretty cool. But anyways, yeah, they kind of went kind of trashy and started selling like wigs and costumes and stuff in their catalog. It, it's pretty interesting. I should I should do a video on on them. Uh, I don't know how they're doing. I know they weren't doing well when I left the company. That's for sure. And that was many years ago. I think we're gonna put Fredericks. Yeah, I think we should put a Fredericks in. Let's do that. Um, and then yeah, we need a Claire's too. That's 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 another one. So. Do I want to use a two slot for that? I guess I do. So we'll throw lingerie in there. And junior apparel. No. Um, do you want to just... I mean, Fredericks did carry like accessories and stuff. Is that one of the options? I think we might just do lingerie in there twice. Yeah, let's just make it a big old lingerie store. Okay, uh, we're gonna go back here. Boom. Okay. Now, see, that's the good. That's a good question. What do we? What do we pick for Claire's? I, I mean, I guess we could do it as a two slot. Is there? What's in here? Hold on. Wash and jewelry repair, shoe shine and repair, tailor. Glamour shots, ha! Huh. Miscellaneous, what's in here? Tattoo, dry cleaning, jewelry. We do have perfume, we need to put that in as well. Um, I, I guess with the Claire's, we'll just put Junior Apparel in there. I for, let's see what that looks like. 
Oh yeah, oh wow. Holy, holy shit, look at that giant. Wait, did we pick lingerie again? No, no, it's junior apparel. Okay, wow. Okay, so let's name this. Oh, how is that spelled? Is that right? And does it have, okay. It has. Do a Claire's with a tattoo parlor. Oh, you know what? That's what is. That's what I should have done. Hold on. Okay, we'll make this Claire's for a second. But I wasn't piercing. That was stupid. I think. Hold on. Jewelry, tattoo, tattoo parlor. You know, we'll, oh, we don't have the piercing yet. Okay, because they do a lot of piercings at Salon, at, at Claire's. But we didn't have that researched yet, it doesn't look like. So we'll just, maybe we'll make a tattoo and piercing place separately. Is there a Hot Topic yet? There is not a Hot Topic yet, I don't believe. Yeah, the giant shoe is pretty awesome. Um, so what do we, what do we want to put here? Security and spy tech? That's kind of weird. Oh, we need a radio shack. So that's going to be awful with that carpet. Uh, radio and TV and phones. <laughs> Do I do phones? Not gadgets, because that's more like Brookstone and stuff. Maybe we want to do more radios and TV and stuff. Maybe no, not security and spy tech. That doesn't make sense. Let's do let's do phones. Okay, yeah, that's Radio Shack. Okay. The buckle. I forgot about the buckle. Holy crap! That's funny. That who mentioned that the buckle. I don't know how to say your name. Uh, it looks like it'll. Oh, I'm so sorry if I'm killing this, but it looks like a Cool Ray 3000. I totally forgot the buckle. I'm not even sure if they're still around or not. Alright, let's run them all again. That's hilarious. 40%? That That's Radio Shack. I don't know how I feel about that carpet, though. Hold on. Purple's not right, that's for sure. Um, I don't know what. I'm trying to think what the carpet looks like at a Radio Shack. I can't even think about a room. Think. We'll just leave it. We'll just leave it. How's our lingerie store doing? That's hilarious too, the lingerie store. Okay, let's see, do we have any more empty? We do, store 193, unless that's one we haven't. Oh, we didn't name, we didn't name this. Oh, how do we spell it? I think that's right. I forget if it's Frederick's with an apostrophe or not. That's so terrible. If somebody can go just Google that, I think that's right. I think that's right. Okay. All right. So we forgot to name that. That's done. So we have 23 stores now, and no empty, no empty slots. How's our? Uh, okay. What do we have done here? This is what. That's Montgomery Ward. And then down here we have the Bonton. Just looking at our anchors. Oh, and Sears. You know what? Sears... <laughs> Sears has had a rough week. I'm gonna cut them some slack. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the news, but... They've been having a rough week. 
And I don't know how much longer they're going to be around. <laughs> but I saw today their stock uh, dip below a dollar a share. I think I saw it went as low as 82 cents a share, and then I think it ended up closing somewhere in the high like 90s 90s uh but still on uh, still closed under a dollar which is pretty crazy to think about oh we still have an empty store right there why didn't that show up when we were looking at oh it's right there okay store 181 i didn't see it so we have one more one more store slot we could fill We need like fountains and, and kiosks and stuff too. Throw a couple of kiosks in. I don't know what I want to put in there. Let's think about that. Why don't you guys throw some suggestions out? Um, but while we're doing that, let's throw a couple. Uh, where are they at? Are they in our scenery? Yeah, kiosks. I'm not a huge fan of any of these kiosks, the way they look. And you also can't name the kiosks, which is which is a shame. Oh, hey, thank you, AC Castillo, with the uh, two dollars super super chat. There it says couple of dollars for whisker maintenance and upkeep. That's funny. Oh, we don't have a music instrument store. That's that's a good point. Let's throw a kiosk. I want to see something real quick. Okay, they're not going to be centered, but that's okay. Throw that there. Oh. And uh, another one there. I think I want to put like a fountain or something. Oh, look, we have a, some empty space right here, too. And then I feel like we need a. Yeah, let's plop a kiosk right here. That, uh, I wish it would center. Oh well, uh, let's put it there, okay. Ooh, we have less than 500 in the bank, we better slow down. Well, we still haven't gotten, we haven't taken any loans out yet, which is good, but now we're up over 600, so. Are we doing any, oh, our research. Oh look, there's our Easter, Easter promotion. Wow, even even cutting Sears all that slack, they still they still couldn't. I still thought they would be like the most profitable store, but I guess not. Let's look at the promo or let's look at the research real quick. Yeah, we're done. Let's research some mall improvements. Better insulated walls. That sounds good. There's our security. Hey, there's a bad guy right there. Oh, do we need more mall employees? Because we're starting to get some messes and some bad dudes. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting them. But we might need to expand our security and maintenance a little bit. Oh, thank you, Ken Murphy, with a $5 super chat. It says, add a disco pants and haircuts. Blue Brother Blues Brothers reference. Might have to do that. Thrifty drugstore with thrifty ice cream. Oh, do we have, is like drugstore an option? Because that would be really cool. Of course we're an aesthetic asset mayor. Thank you. Uh, let's look. Because I know we have ice cream. I know that's definitely one. Um, but like drugstore. Well, yeah, because I think we have like health. Hold on. Yeah, right here. Because we could do a pharmacy. That's basically a drugstore. That's not a bad idea. We may do that. We we don't we can't do it there, unfortunately. Because I, I need to use a two-slot store for that, but that, that's a good idea. We do have an arcade, it's right here. Let me uh turn the mall back on. There's our arcade right there. 
And this kid's an a-hole to the machines. Uh, pocket change is what we named it. But we, we made it a bigger one. We used two slots, so there was lots of arcade stuff. We do need a bath and body works as well. Um, we do have, I think we have a GNC. Our customer count's going up. That's good. Uh, let me look real quick. We have a GNC, I feel like. If not, you know what? That's what I'll stick in there. No, we have a GNC. I do remember Osco Drug. Warner Brothers store? Yeah, we have to think of something for a single slot. Let's look at the store types here again. What's under entertainment? Toys, pet supply, eh. collectibles. I don't think we have a Hallmark store. I know we have well now we have 762 in the bank so let me look at the store list again I don't think we have a Hallmark store or we could do music instruments we could put it's not like uh, Guitar Center I feel like needs to be bigger if it's that's what is if we're that if that's what we're gonna go with I don't know is music is that a good uh, yeah I mean every mall does need a Hallmark store that's why I was thinking that but I do want a music store as well but I feel like we need a two slot for the music store just because it needs to be at least I mean they're bigger usually than just one slot yeah let's let's put a hallmark in here and then uh, that should be good because look there's tons of people walking right past here yeah that's what we'll do we'll, we'll put a hallmark in here and then I will run a poll on Twitter for what music store we want to put in the next episode. So maybe right now you guys can throw out some names of some music stores and uh, we can use those as options in the in the poll. Oh, that's perfect too because that looks like the Hallmark store. I think it was the one at Superstition Springs Mall used to look like that. Whose Hallmark should this be? Because you know how they're always like somebody's Hallmark? It's always like Amy's Hallmark or or Sarah's Hallmark. We do have a Suncoast video. Port Max 1981, we do have that. Hmm. Uh, I was just thinking that for a split second that we could we could make it Pascal's home. But actually, he he has his own store that he said what he wants. You know what that's let's make it my Hallmark store. That might be interesting. Let's see if I can... Gold corn. Ah, we'll just leave a hallmark that way. It... No, you know what? There, we're gonna be pretentious. If it's gonna be my store, we're gonna make it pretentious. And because it's my store... I ain't paying shit for rent. <laughs> but otherwise, that that looks like the one. Oh man, that's kind of nostalgic, to be honest with you. So yeah, with that, I think that's it. We have filled all of the empty store slots. So um, next episode, we're gonna have to we're gonna be thinking about expanding. I think. How's our, oh, we're still researching. Okay. Oh, now the research is complete for better insulated walls. Let's get one more. What have we got here? Scratch resistant dual walls. That's nice. Ooh, automatic bathrooms. But I feel like we need to hire one more each of these. Then we have, okay. Yeah. I know we have less than 500 in the bank. Then we're back to 734. We're really flirting there. Oh, look, here's the summer promotion. 
Apparently it's people looking at jet skis and surfboards and, and infinite dolphins. Yeah, we do need a we do need man, Bonton has just been killing it, haven't they? Bonton has just been killing it. And we got our kiosks this episode. One of these kiosks, I'm gonna go with this one. This kiosk. Where are we at? The kiosk in front of perfect. The red kiosk in front of the ice cream shop is where they sell the shareware discs. <laughs> when I was a kid that we had a kiosk in the mall that sold computer games like on shareware, and so it was just a kiosk like this with just five and a quarter inch floppy disks with like Commander Keen and Wolfenstein and all that stuff on it. And it was like five bucks for each game or whatever, so you can't name the kiosk, they don't they're just for decor, but that's the shareware kiosk. Let's see. I feel like we got a lot of old people. This, this person not. Okay, this is just an adult female. With 200 bucks in her pocket, who's... She was peckish, now she's assurant. And I feel like we looked that up in a previous episode, and I don't remember what it means. She's going to Montgomery Ward now. You know, I kind of want to see... Hold on. Let's see how much she spends at Montgomery Ward. A customer complained that Chick-fil-A charges so much. Well, it's because it tastes like heaven. Chick-fil-A's good. Wow, she dropped a lot of coin in Montgomery Ward. Like 66 bucks. And she's still walking around. Is she going to spend more? Or is she just... Is that it? Montgomery Ward looks pretty busy. She looks like she's very hungry now. I wonder. So now I think when she leaves the store, it should say where she's going now. Let's see if she's leaving the mall or if she's going to go eat somewhere. She's going to Chick fil A. Nice. This old man is moving faster than she is. This old man is going to overtake her. Arr! Cut her off, man. He is in a rush. He must be looking for the pooper. Where's he going? Oh, he's leaving the mall. Dude, the door's right there. He must have parked on the other side. Think security's okay. He doesn't have any money. This is what I like. This lady back here with the bags full of stuff. Bonton plans on reopening stores? I had not heard that. That's really awesome. While their first store. Hey, security. Get that guy. Uh, that is awesome. Well, the first location, I guess, is at Siesta Mall. I don't know about Sears. I I feel that this this really is for them the beginning of the end. The fact that their stock is trading below a dollar now and it closed below a dollar. Um, if they don't get that fixed up in the next month, from what I understand, Nasdaq could start threatening to delist them. So, and also they have a huge debt payment that's due at the end of October, and the way that they're hemorrhaging cash and stuff, there's some question as to whether they're going to be able to meet that debt payment obligation. So. Um, there may come a time when the, the only existing Sears is the one at Siesta Mall. Which could be sad to think about it's, it, that the end is coming for them. Hashtag Fast Eddie sucks. Yeah, he does suck. The, the, this had to have been engineered, the, the whole thing with them. You drove three hours for Chick-fil-A and it was worth it. That's insane. I'll tell you this. Where I used to work, I used to work in uh, North Scottsdale for a while. And uh, this was back when they really first started building the Chick-fil-A's outside of malls, like the standalone Chick-fil-A's. Hold on. We're gonna let that comment go through. Anyways, uh, yeah, so they, it was when they first started opening, uh, that's a maintenance worker, like individual standalone Chick-fil-A's, and they opened up one near my office, and for like the first, th well, for the first week, it seemed like they pretty much had to have police there directing traffic all the time. And then for like the next three or four months, every lunch rush, because there was a lot of offices and stuff there, like professional offices, um, they would have to have police directing traffic because the drive through line would go, look at the pizza guy, that's awesome right there, hold on. Um, they would go into the street, the, the drive through line, it was crazy. And I mean, Chick-fil-A's good, but it's not, it's not that good. I mean, it, like I said, it is really good. I really do enjoy Chick-fil-A, but I would not wait in that long of a line for it. We have one not too far from us where we live now, and it's usually... It's it's funny because the drive through is usually really long, but um, just walking... It's just quicker just to walk in and order food and carry it out, and it doesn't take very long at all. 
And this person's going to rate. How much are they going to spend at Radio Shack? Is he going to spend anything at Radio Shack? He walked in there with. Is he riding his skateboard in Radio Shack? That's kind of disrespectful. He rode his skateboard into Radio Shack, and then I don't think he spent. And now he's going to Dairy Queen. He spent 20 something, 20 bucks at Dairy Queen. Damn. And now he's leaving the mall. Well, screw you, buddy. Victoria's Secret, or no, I'm sorry, Fredericks of Hollywood doesn't seem very. Oh, there we go. Someone, a male going into Fredericks. Probably getting his girlfriend something. Actually, I'm getting my mom something gross. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I think that's where we're gonna we're gonna wrap this one up. We, uh, I think we had a good productive episode though. We filled out the mall. It's it's doing well. We've got an atrium now, so we can have special events and stuff. Um, let's do some scratch resistant walls. We also need to save the game though. That's something that we are forgetting to do. So let's do that real quick. Anyways, guys, thanks for wa thanks for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed, make sure to do that. And also, if you are subscribed, make sure you have notifications turned on for example I will have a new video out uh, tomorrow morning it should be out 9 a.m. Eastern time so pretty early in the morning if you're on the other side of the country so and I think it's gonna be a good, a good a good video I think you'll enjoy it um, if you're just joining this stream uh, normally I repost these episodes the next day um, however like I just mentioned I've got a new video coming out I don't want to kneecap it so um, this will probably come out Sunday or maybe Monday and you can catch the replay then Anyways, everyone, thanks for watching, and have a good night from Siesta Mall.